earn a thousand dollars a day in passive income. According to T. Harv Eker, author and businessman and a speaker on wealth and motivation, you can only be financially free when your passive income exceeds your expenses. This means you'll never be financially free unless you can live on your passive income alone. After all, there's not much you can do just by working a nine to five job, savings and cutting costs. You'll somewhat get to live a comfortable life and that's about all. But when you try to pamper yourself with a luxurious vacation or you'll feel guilty and constantly anxious, if you still don't have enough for next month. The simple solution is to increase your income stream through passive income. And today I will share with you some of the most useful passive income ideas that will let you earn as much as $1,000 daily. Now, truth be told, there's no 100% passive anything. So just know that going into this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Manif Ali and I'm a self-made multimillionaire. I'm here to empower you so that you can attain financial and personal development goals. And if you find my content valuable, click the like and subscribe button. As promised, here are some ideas to increase your income stream through passive income. Number one, dividend growth investing. How does dividend growth investing work? Well, you buy shares of a company with a good track record of increasing their payouts over time and one that has a future potential for dividend growth due to excellent cash flow generation. Some of the most popular ones are Johnson & Johnson with 6.6% increase in dividend payouts this year or Coca-Cola or Procter & Gamble with a 5% increase. For instance, if you own a thousand shares of Coca-Cola consolidated with an annual dividend yield of 0.24% or of a dividend yield of a quarter percent, and an expected dividend payout increase of 3% in five years, you'll have an investment of $698,171.11 without doing jack you know what. Just waiting for an investment to grow. And a growth dividend is a pretty good passive income, but the downside is you need a lot of money. And that's why I love teaching financial literacy. There's a lot of things that you may not have grown up with, especially devoid of generational wealth and your parents didn't have money. That's why I really get a kick out of teaching this stuff. Let's go into number two, which is royalty. This one is something that only a few people have as passive income. By definition, these are payments made by one company, the licensee, to another company or person, the licensor, for the right to use the latter's intellectual property. Sound complicated? Well, in simple terms, this is how your favorite authors are being paid. So the author writes a book, then the publishing company sells them. Whatever sales are generated from that, the author will get a certain percentage of that the publishing company will pay which is what is a royalty. Now, it's just in the book writing business, but it, it's in all kinds of fields. So if you have a talent for, let's say, writing a book, a song, or maybe talented in drawing or illustrations, royalties can be a great addition to your income stream. And let's go to number three, Amazon Associates Program. So you're a content creator, a vlogger, a blogger, a YouTuber, or perhaps the owner of any social media account with a decent following. If so, being part of the Amazon Associate Program will be a great addition to your income stream. So how does this work? Well, all you need to do is to promote or market any product that's selling on Amazon. And if you can generate a sale for them through your promotion, get this, you get a commission of anywhere from one to 10%. For instance, if you are, let's say a YouTuber and you review a product that is going to be sold on Amazon, and let's say, let's say it's an air fryer, then below your video, you would put a link on where to buy this great air fryer or whatever said product you're promoting. And if your audience buys it, you get a commission. So on top of the revenue from your YouTube channel, you can get commission from Amazon by hitting two birds with one stone. Before we continue, please let me know your thoughts about today's topic by leaving a comment. Now, none of these passive income streams are ever going to be totally easy, right? So know that going up front. Building an audience on YouTube, just getting them to buy something is a difficult task. Not one that's impossible because a lot of people are doing it. It's possible, but you're going to have to put in some time. So it's going to be non-passive efforts that lead to passive results. So the other one is ad revenue. Did you know that a financial education channel has the highest ad rates in the industry? Its payout is about $12 to $20 per thousand views, while content about technologies are $8 per thousand views and gaming gets you about $2 per thousand views. So choosing your niche is an important component on what to start on your YouTube channel in generating passive income. Passive income is called passive because you earn more money with little effort, even when you're asleep. But that is only true in the later part. It doesn't mean that you will suddenly wake up one day and start earning passive income. You still need to put in some work. And in the case of growth from dividend and investing, you need the necessary funds to buy the stocks that pay royalties. You need to write a book or a song or invent technology if you want intellectual property that could be sold. And for Amazon Associates and YouTube ads revenue, you need to create a channel with a following. Your website and social media account and research strategies have to be one that attracts and builds an audience. There's no such thing as free in the world after all. And if you want a steady cash flow from your passive income, you gotta work for it. For example, you know, buying my first pieces of real estate, I was barely making no money by the time I paid the gardener, the utilities, the water for the tenant, all these other things, I was barely making enough. But fast 
explored that, you know, to 30 years of investing and buying two or three properties every year, you amass enough in volume to then be passive. Now I'm at a stage where I can walk away from the businesses or from my real estate and go on vacation somewhere and still get paid. But let me tell you, there was nothing passive in the beginning. A lot of people are on YouTube selling their wares, selling their courses and all this, but I'll just tell you, stick to it and be consistent, whatever you pick, and ultimately it will become passive. So when somebody's telling you buy my, you know, $5,000 course on passive income generation, they're probably going to be telling you the same things I'm telling you for absolutely free. But consistency is not something that you get to pay for or license out and then boom, voila, you have your goal. That's not how it works. So while all these are cool and great things to build passive income on that you should consider, know that the more time you put, the luckier you get in the end. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up because I'm always here to tell you like it is and give you a straight shot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this. If you want to know more about how to make money and still have fun, you should watch this next video, how to make money and have fun while you're in your 20s.